there's a couple of schools of thought there. There's one that feels like the future is remote dubbing and is putting all of their eggs in that basket. And there's some value to that. But there are those that feel that owning the majority of the major languages are needed because there are some key languages that for originals content nearly always get ordered. So those are the key ones. French, Italian, German, Spanish, Japanese, Latin, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese. Those are very popular languages. But there is an argument to be in control of that supply chain because when it comes to bidding projects around we're competing with other people who are doing the same thing if you own your own studios you're more in control of the deadlines uh, there's different sort of deals you can do with the content so there's a lot of advantages to it and the third way of looking at it is we don't want to own anything we only want to bear the cost of dealing with dubbing when we actually have the work my honest feeling is that all three of those have some merit the real way forward in my opinion, is it's actually a bit of a combination. If you want to be successful, and let's look at how much consolidation has happened in this space with all the acquisitions so well uh, publicized in the last couple of years. This market is totally changing. It's becoming very important to have scale and to have the ability to package services. And the other piece is that the timelines for all of the content are shrinking and shrinking. Look at what happened with theatrical last year, where theatrical titles were being released on streaming platforms. Suddenly the requirement to have all those languages was much more important to get them on there quickly for piracy, for all sorts of reasons, for subscribers. I think we see a need to be in that space with bricks and mortar studios for some of the reasons that I've identified. Remote dubbing to some extent will also be something that probably will become a useful tool. And then there are going to be times where there are languages where there's just not that much call for them, honestly. And it makes more sense to partner with other studios in that situation.